Number 19 on my list of favorite Final Fantasy games of all time, and it's World of Final Fantasy. An extraordinarily charming adventure, and by the way, if this feels low to you at 19 and you love this game, don't fret. We are fully into the category of games now that I can recommend with my full heart, with very few caveats that I absolutely love, that I think give the name Final Fantasy all that magic and charm that it deserves. And this is one of those games that I thought was going to be like a, a lot of some of the other side games that I didn't get around to finishing and therefore didn't get around to reviewing in this series because they didn't hold my attention as long. The one big caveat with World Of is if you don't like the chibi art style, the sort of high-pitched voices, the yes, it's a bit more kid-friendly, cutesy, whatever words you want to use to describe it, it can be a lot, especially in the early going. I will say, you know, about halfway through the game, it becomes very much like almost any other Final Fantasy game. Yes, it still has that cutesy charm and the, and the chibi characters, but boy, does it end up going hard into some of the very difficult and profound themes that we know Final Fantasy can do. It is an absolute joy to get to see all of the characters interacting with each other. If you're a fan of multiversal stuff, this is really, really fun. And the combat system is fantastic. It can be lazily described as Final Fantasy meets Pokemon, but there are worse ideas in the world, taking all of the fantastic Final Fantasy monsters and creatures and using them as a kind of monster hunter, catcher, user style of game and, and adding the stacking element on top of that, which makes it one of the more fun games in the series to play. So I wholeheartedly recommend World of Final Fantasy to anyone who enjoys the franchise and isn't turned off by things that are maybe a little bit more kid-friendly because it is a phenomenal Final Fantasy game.